Right, hi. Um, you hear me lots talking about lots of products and I've mentioned it about the all-in-one units. I've showed you our manufacturing facility in China. This is one of the units. This is called the Lifelink. I'm going to show you something about it. We have lots of questions that people come on to us. Let me open this one up and you can see it. It's a beautiful piece of kit. Here is the battery. Here is the inverter. Actually, you don't open it up. The thing is completely sealed. But I just want to give you a sneak preview. Let me put the lid back on it again. Wiring it. Okay, people ask about how to wire it. On the unit here, you've got your load and you've got your grid. Your grid is both an input and output. So it's simple if I'm going to connect my cables onto the grid, which is both input and output. Uh, it's very, very, very simple, very, very simple to connect. And in fact, I use this connector. Make sure you get the correct orientation. Uh, I get it correct. It goes on here. It locks on here. And that is my grid. And that is both input and output. So the input feed and output feed both connect to the grid. The other connection here is the load. This is often referred to in South Africa as essential load. This is, if you have a power outage, this will continue to operate. You don't need to do an earth bond relay. It's got the earth bond relay built in. Everything is built in this. You never need to open the unit. So if you're connecting this, you can connect this directly to a socket, um, a South African socket or a British 13 amp socket or a VDE socket. This can connect directly to a socket. What else do you need? Well, the only other thing you need is the CT coil. And this is CT coil. You're all familiar with the CT coils. CT coil prevents the export. So if I connect, it's marked as limiter. If I connect my CT coil in here, and I'll make sure I, again, is the orientation correct? It's sealed in, it locks in place. And the CT coil clamps on the incoming cable and that prevents export or it controls the export. And don't forget, you, you, you note about the arrows on the CT coil and the arrows face towards the unit. So it's a very, very simple unit to operate. Um, of course, I've got here, is my solar inputs for my MPPT. So if I connect my solar, plug and play. Um, the other only other things that you need to, to be aware of, um, I've got the cables here. If we're going to add an external battery, and then the external battery can clip on either one, you can clip on here, or you can clip on here. These are both in parallel, so it doesn't matter. And these are what they call amphenol connectors, and the amphenol connector can collect onto a standard battery, or you can use an amphenol to a spade or whatever. Or, in fact, if you're going to parallel two of these units together, you simply connect, connect, and plug it in. You've also got on here your CAN bus. So your CAN bus connection here goes for your battery. So I connect onto my CAN bus here, and this is for this is obviously for my battery here. Um, so this is my battery. I've actually got the other connections here, which is marked two and three, are for when we're paralleling. So for paralleling, one will be in, one will be out, so, so they can communicate with each other. It's very, very simple. Um, installation um, time, you don't need anything else. Um, the nice thing about the unit is here, you've got your solar isolator and you've got your battery isolator, the two main things. You've also got here um, an AC fuse protector. So if it, if it trips, this will pop out and you simply push it back in again, it will reset everything is all in one. It's a hybrid inverter. It's a bi-directional hybrid inverter. Um, it can also plug into the SunSync Connect. And so very simple, if I'm going to use the SunSync Connect um, with the app, um, it can simply plug in here. It goes onto the, to the Wi-Fi port and it will connect onto here. And this will then connect in a similar manner to the SunSync Connect. Very simple. Price wise, well, that's a different thing. We always, I, I use a barometer, so depending on where you are in the world, but basically it's the price of a decent mobile phone. The whole system, the whole caboodle is the price of a decent mobile phone. Of course, then you've got your installation cost, your solar panel cost, and various other things, but the inverter itself is extremely cost effective. It's a nice solution. It's very simple to install. You don't need any switches, fuses, isolators. It isn't meant to replace our current systems. Our current systems are, are beautiful and they work amazingly well. And therefore, obviously for bigger systems. So it's not meant as a replacement for our current systems. This is meant as an alternative to a grassroots, to lower uh, social housing or pri where prices are an issue or where people have got huge volume. And also, for example, like caravans, 
mobile homes. It's got lots and lots of uses. This is a very, very nice piece of kit. Of course, I'll go through other training and show you how the LCD operates and how the programming operates. It is nice. It is, it is extremely nice. Um, lots of testing. There is now stock available in South Africa. It's available in South Africa from a number of suppliers and it's also available in the United Kingdom. So it's available in both countries. Um, the models, which you've heard me mention before, um, we've got 3.6 and we've got a two kilowatt and we've got a five coming out soon, but not yet, but we've got the two models which are available. Um, this is nice and basically it is an enhancement to our current range of products. So it's not meant as a replacement, it's meant to enhance and to give you opportunities where price points are important. And a lot of, a lot of installers, the price points are important because you know this is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you, you know, I'm talking about our high energy stuff, our container, our high voltage stuff, because we've got both ends. We've got the high end stuff, the container, because our container stuff is beautiful. But we want to try to address both ends of the market. We're trying to address the bottom end, the grassroots, and we don't want to replace it with not so nice a product. We want to replace it with a quality product and something that's going to give you a long, long time. Um, the batteries in it, um, lithium ion, life PO4, it's got everything in it. But the beauty of it is it's extremely simple to install. You mount your bracket, you hook your inverter on the wall, you connect, your, you connect it here, which is your grid. Um, onto maybe you would probably use some sort of protector. You wouldn't don't need much because it's already got protection into it. Uh, connect onto your grid, and then your load can go onto a socket for your essential load. Or if you've got a split DB board, you can do it as a split DB board. It's very very simple as is. If later on you want to upgrade and add additional one, and the other thing is you can use this as a battery. You know, if you just want to use this as a if you've already got an existing system, and you want to add storage to an existing system then just simply use one of these. You don't need to go and do all, have all sorts of gadgets and gizmos, um, especially some of our competitors have many, many different components. It's one component, it's one unit, and it's brought to you by Sunsync. Um, it's nice, um, it's full compatibility. We've got all the, we've got the European approvals, we've got the NRS in South Africa, we've got, we tick all the boxes. But the nice thing is, I don't need to go through loads and loads of training because there's not much to do. Um, anybody can install it. Um, I will always recommend installed by a qualified electrical engineer, a, a licensed electrician. I always say that because I'm an electrician myself, starts off as an electrical engineer, and I always will say these things should be installed by electricians or electrical, le electrical, le licensed electrical engineers. Anyway, one thing about it is I mentioned inside, I'm not outside, I'm not actually in the rain, Rajesh. I was talking about it. I was saying to people, say, you know, English people, we always talk about the weather. And for some reason, I always talk about the weather. <laughs> I'm actually in Hong Kong at the moment. So um, I'll be out traveling around and maybe see some of you guys at the, the, the show. I'll be over in the Birmingham show um, in October. And I think we're exhibiting in um, Germany in September. Unfortunately, I can't make the Germany show, but um, you will see me around. Um, and hopefully, guess what? It's raining in Hong Kong. It's raining outside, but I can't, I can't show you. It's really bucketing down. We're not gonna show you that. But anyway, we're inside in the dry demonstrating the lifelink this is a beautiful piece of kit it is an alternative it will open doors it will create the market it will boost the market so please keep following us on facebook and youtube or wherever you you, you look at our social media i will keep posting more and more stuff and i'll tell you what we'll do we will do some video very soon of these being installed. I'll try and get some locations and show them being installed in houses in South Africa and some houses in the United Kingdom and possibly in Europe where these things are being used. And I'll post some of that. But don't forget, this is nice. This is really nice. Thanks for following us. Cheers.